Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I love talking about future products, especially about Toyota trucks. So today I want to talk about what's coming ahead for the new generation Toyota Tacoma, which isn't too far away. In fact, I expect the new Tacoma to show up sometime in the 2023 calendar year as a 2024 model year. So that's about uh, maybe almost two years away perhaps, but it's not too far away. And I'm just uh, really excited about that because I do own a 2021 Tacoma TRD Pro, uh, which by the way, I am trading in for the 2022 Tundra, but perhaps in the 2023 calendar year, I can trade the Tundra back to the smaller Tacoma when the new model comes through. So let me take you through the exterior, the interior, the powertrain and the suspension system. I'm going to tell you all of the things I'm expecting to happen in the new generation Tacoma and Tacoma TRD Pro. So let me take you step by step. So let me first walk you through the exterior of the Tacoma for the new generation and let me see if I can predict what it might look like. I do have a render which I created for the 2024 Tacoma which looks like this. But let me walk you through step by step and try to figure out together what the new Tacoma will indeed look like. So let's take it from the beginning. So in the front of the Tacoma as you know this is actually quite a good looking exterior. Most of us love the design of the Tacoma. And even though this has been around for a while, no one has complained that it doesn't look good. In fact, as you know, this is a best-selling mid-size truck because it looks cool and looks trendy still, despite the old design. But nevertheless, the new version must come in two years or so, and therefore it's gonna have a new design. So what I predict is that it's going to follow a very similar design theme as a new Tundra for 2022. So what's gonna happen is that in the new Tundra, for example, this section, it kind of sticks out a little bit more, it bulges out a little bit more. It has a much more aggressive, bold grill, sort of an like egg crate pattern, I call it. And of course, depending on which model of the Tacoma, the design will be different because the uh, same as in Tundra, different trim models have different grills. Uh, but I would expect at least in the TRD Pro, these egg crates will be much larger uh, because that's what the design theme is now for Toyota trucks. And overall, this grill will get much larger. So I would say at least an inch to inch and a half larger and maybe even a little bit wider this way. Not much more because you've got the headlights on this side. And then in the Platinum or 1794 type models, this part is actually chrome. So you can expect something similar happening for a Tacoma. This will probably be blacked out and this part will be blacked out for the more of the off-road type models. And then it will be chrome perhaps on a limited and then if you get the TRD Sport package, this is typically body matched. So body color to body color, just like you see in here. So this is going to look quite different in the front. You will still get the big Toyota logo here for the Tacoma TRD Pro. And for other models, you're going to simply get the Toyota emblem with a radio here for the adaptive cruise control. Uh, this bumper section will all look very different because in the case of a Tundra, you get a couple of um, fog lamps and then it goes down further this way to make sure that you have a good angle for off-roading. So this part I think will look a little bit different as well. You'll probably flatten out and go a little bit shallower over here with a steep angle to give you that uh, really, really good angle for off-roading. The fog lamp will probably be incorporated into the front bumper here, just like in the Tundra, as opposed to having on the right and the left side. Although I currently really like the Tacoma's uh, rigid industry fog lamps here. It looks really cool, I think. But I think that will be integrated into bumper, uh, again, just like in the Tundra. In terms of the hood, I think it will also follow the pattern of the Tundra, which has two big bumps as opposed to having one hood scoop. So I think the hood scoop, which is fake anyway, will likely go away. And then instead you're going to get two kind of larger bumps on the hood which is the pattern that Toyota is using for all its new models, including the Land Cruiser, as well as the um, Tundra. So that summarizes the hood and the grille and the lower bumper. The headlight, I think, will look very different as well because the headlight should follow very closely the design theme of the new Tundra. 
Toyota loves to carry the same kind of design cues across its lineup so that uh, it kind of looks like a Toyota truck from different angles and from a distance. As you know, the new Tundra has a much more radical headlight design, but this part drops down in a teardrop format and that design is currently only in the Tundra and the new Land Cruiser. So I would expect this headlight to change quite radically, drop down this way, as I have shown in my render. And so this part will look very different. It should still have the LED headlights. This should look a little bit slimmer and a little bit sportier looking. Uh, it's going to look a little bit more sharper overall. So I think the front design will look really cool uh, and carry a lot of design themes from the Tundra. Moving on to the side, again, if you have a Tacoma TRD Pro or an off-road package, you will still get the blackout uh, trim here. Would we get the uh, digital camo pattern that we see in the Tundra? I think we would. I think uh, in the Tacoma TRD Pro, we will probably get that funny looking pattern over here, which I'm not too crazy about, but it does look kind of trendy and cool. So probably that will happen over here and some of the inserts in the front of the truck as well. Uh, I don't expect too much change along the side here because in the truck there's only so much you can do in terms of design and uh, in the case of Tundra they didn't make a huge radical change in terms of side profile. I am expecting some change over here in terms of the curve. In my render I showed this a little bit more steeper and climbing up near the end of the window here because that's the pattern I'm seeing in many of the new Toyota future cars. And then also showing some curves over here. Who knows if that's going to happen, but that's my prediction. The back end over here, there's, well, not much you can do. Um, but maybe the window might change. We have a very small window that slides back and forth right now in Tacoma. I think that window is too small. We also don't get electric uh, rear defroster right now. So I think we will get a defroster built in in the future Tacoma. And I expect that window to be bigger. I don't think we're going to get a uh, drop down window that we have in Tundra. That is not going to migrate over to the Tacoma because it's just uh, too small in terms of window to make that work. But I do expect this window to get a little bit larger and we should get rear defrost over here. The length of the uh, rear pickup bed, as you know, we have two choices in the Tacoma and that should stay. I don't think it's going to get longer. Uh, this is going to remain as a mid-size pickup truck. So we will still get two choices for the length of the bed. But in terms of the overall length of the pickup truck, I expect Tacoma to grow a little bit, maybe just an inch or two. It's not going to get much bigger than that, but it should grow a little bit longer and then maybe a tiny bit wider because typically Toyota makes uh, models a little bit larger as they go through the gen different generations. Uh, so that's the rear of the truck. Uh, now here's an interesting one. The rear tail lamp design should change a lot because uh, Tundra had a quite a big and radical change in terms of design of the rear tail lamps. It has a vertical lines in the new Tundra. It's much longer and bigger. So I expect the new Tacoma will have a very similar thinking that way with the vertical lines versus the kind of chunky look that we have right now. So that should be the big change for Tacoma. Also, one of the biggest criticism I have about the Tacoma is that the bed height is just too low. So when you open the pickup bed, I always have a problem loading things up because this height is too low below the tunnel cover and I would totally expect the Toyota to increase this height because always competition with the newer models have higher height. This should go up at least one inch, uh, from my opinion, maybe even inch and a half or so, so we can actually slide in a larger cooler. Because right now I have to be very careful what kind of cooler I pick. They don't always fit under my tunnel cover. So that should change quite a bit here. This tailgate is also very heavy. That's my another complaint about Tacoma. It's quite a, quite a weight to carry like this and to close. Uh, yeah, it's softly cushioned over here and dampened, but it's just too heavy. So this should switch to a much lighter uh, aluminum tailgate, allowing this to open and close with, uh, with ease. So that's another change I expect to happen. We already have a composite pickup bed in the Tacoma, so that should stay the same. Tundra did adopt the um, composite pickup bed for the first time, and for the new Tacoma, that should carry over as well. Let me close the tailgate now. In terms of the tailgate design, for those of you who were hoping that you might get uh, some kind of multifunctional design, you're not going to get that because we didn't get it for Tundra. The Tundra does have electric um, door here now, so you can lock and unlock with more ease, and you can uh, remotely manage the locking in combination with the rest of the lock. So that should carry on to the new Tacoma as well. The new Tundra also has this section changed, so they no longer have a boundary here 
but it's one piece here in order to make it more uh, aesthetically pleasing. So I expect the Tacoma to also carry that design uh, theme and design trend and move over to a one piece theme here. Uh, and then the, the new Tanja also has a really cool feature where you can tap it on the side here. There's a button here and that will open the rear tailgate. That feature needs to come to the Tacoma as well. So that kind of summarizes the rear in terms of tailgate, in terms of tail lamps, in terms of bumper. We should still get the step down bumper here. Uh, we should still get an available um, step here as well. This is an optional feature to be able to walk into a pickup bed. I really prefer the kind of built-in step that we see in General Motors truck, but we didn't get that in the Tundra, so we probably won't get that in the Tacoma as well. Uh, but the rest of the back should not change all that because there's only so much you can do with the pickup truck in terms of rear design. So I know it's a few years away, but because I came up with a, a number of renders for the Tacoma, please let me know in the comments below what you think of my renders. Do you think that the new Tacoma will look like that? Do you think it'll look something different? Uh, let me know what you think and please give me some feedback. For now, I'm happy with a new render. And um, of course, we all love the Tacoma. I love the Tacoma TRD Pro and uh, changing it to Tundra, it's gonna be a really good experience, but I'm also sad to let this one go. But I'm looking forward to the possibility of then trading the uh, new Tundra, 2022 Tundra, back to the Tacoma in 2023 when the 2024 comes out. So I'm really looking forward to that. The one thing I forgot to mention is that I really hope Toyota will make this a little bit longer here because the cab is quite, quite small and the legroom is very restricted in the current Tacoma. So this has to go back at least uh, one inch to inch and a half to give us a little bit more legroom in the rear. But that's one of the design criticism we have of the current Tacoma. So when they eventually lengthen the Tacoma, they need to lengthen the cab first. The rest of the Tacoma has um, accessories here in terms of the roof here and also the stepping uh, running boards. Those kind of stuff are added on. Uh, they dramatically increased accessory for the Tundra for 2022 in terms of the choices and selections. So hopefully the same thing is happening for Tacoma and you can choose more selection in terms of things like running boards, things like the overhead uh, options and tonal cover. So those are things I'm hoping will happen for the new Tacoma. Otherwise, what makes Tacoma so good and so popular should remain, which is the nimbleness of the design, uh, the overall compact uh, size, and just the fact that it looks really good and looks really cool. By the way, we should get a lot more aluminum components to make the truck lighter. This hood right now is really, really heavy because it's steel, and so is the rear tailgate. It's very heavy as well. So those things should convert to uh, aluminum. I suspect at least this will become aluminum, maybe the fenders and the rear tailgate as well. So those are the exterior comments I have. Now let me take you into the interior of the Tacoma and predict what the future Tacoma might look like. And I'm also going to talk about the powertrain, which can be controversial because it might be moving from a six cylinder to a 2.4 liter turbo engine. More on that later on.